So this week, you're going to start by reading through the lesson key points. Um, and so uh, there are several concepts that we are going to be covering. And so as you read through here, we cover the different programming standards and the concepts. You'll see this one is super short. Uh, and then uh, at this point, it is important that you guys understand the different parts of your program. So I would like you to watch this video. Uh, it's a Microsoft video and it's excellent. Um, it's short and it will uh, basically give you an idea of the different sections of your C sharp program and what they're uh, what they do. Uh, then you can go through and do the tutorial uh, the code easy assignment. And remember you only have to complete the exercises that I have specified. You don't have to do them all. Uh, and then you're going to want to make sure you submit screenshots of the successful code. And here's a video that shows you how to do the screenshots. Uh, you will submit those screenshots shots to the Dropbox. And then once you're done with that, uh, you're going to go on to the lab assignment. The lab assignment you are going to complete in Visual Studio. So if you haven't used Visual Studio before, I have a reading that you can do and a video that explains what you need to do and how you need to turn in your assignment. So again, uh, here's a video that shows you how to create a new program. And the versioning may have changed a bit. Um, I believe they have .NET 7 now and .NET 8 is being beta tested, but that could change during the semester um, .NET 6 or higher is fine. Uh, so .NET 6 has long support, long-term support, which is why um, I would tend to stick with it. But if you want to use .NET 7 or even the beta, um, you can, although I try to stay away from beta. I don't usually use things until they've been thoroughly tested because <laughs> beta means it's still being tested. Okay, so uh, we have a lab assignment that you will be completing. And uh, I think they're pretty self-explanatory, um, but there is a video that walks you through the instructions and what you need to do to complete the assignment. And then here is the Dropbox for your code. And then at the bottom here are additional resources on the different concepts that were covered this week. Okay, and these resources will take you to usually to Microsoft's site um, where you can see their help references. If you run into problems or have any questions this week, uh, especially if you have problems with your code, please copy and paste the entire program into an email and send it to me so that I can copy it and run it in Visual Studio, and then I will be able to help you.